News 46 is brought to you by... We have just made the best sandwich in America more affordable and easier to get. With our newly reduced prices on our delivery service, there's no reason why anybody should go without having the best sandwich in Peron. So why leave the office for lunch when we can just bring it to you? For a fast delivery, please call us at 751-3354, 751-DELI. And don't forget to inquire about our football party tray promotions. Everybody! I'm here with Dick Grady. Ham Radio. What is Ham Radio? Uh, ham radio is primarily a hobby of people who like to operate radios and talk locally and around the world. Mm -hmm. However, we also have a uh, public service component to it in that we tend to uh, <clears throat> help out in emergencies, particularly when, for example, power outages keep the uh, police and uh, fire equipment not, not they won't work anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, one notable example is Hurricane Katrina. Mm -hmm. Hands were about the only communication available then. We have a repeater up on the mountain, which is solar powered. Didn't need didn't need like AC power to operate. And we have an Aries Races groups here in town. Yes, I'm a member of the Aries Races group. In fact, I'm one of the directors of it. And they operate through the Nye County Emergency Services, I believe. That's right. We're affiliated affiliated with the Nye County Emergency Services. We actually use their bill, billing to meet there, and uh, that's where we have our exam ham radio exams too. Can anybody be a ham radio operator? Oh yeah, there's, there's no there's no there's no re, there's no restrictions at all. You can be a citizen, non-citizen. I've heard about ten six-year-old kids getting licenses. And is the license required? A license is required to operate a ham radio on the ham radio frequencies. Uh, the license term is ten years. In order to get a license, there's a question pool of qu questions and answers that you look over and I'm familiar with. Mm -hmm. The question pulls around 450 questions and answers. Mm -hmm. And uh, we picked 35 and gave you an exam on it. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you pass 26, you got your license. So how would a person study for this ham radio <clears throat> examination? You could uh, download uh, off the internet mm -hmm. the question pools. There's public information. Or uh, you can buy books that lead you through the study of it. Is it expensive to buy ham radio equipment? Uh, well, yeah. Well, I, I don't want to say neat. Yeah, very expensive. I mean, uh, I would, a good quality handheld unit might be $150, $200. And so what is some of the benefits of talking to people worldwide? Well, you don't need wires. For one thing, it's wireless. Uh, oh, and other things... Uh, we do more than just talk. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, hams can help write their own TV stations talking to other, t other hams. Mm -hmm. uh, we use uh, Morse code, of a course. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have digital communications. Mm -hmm. We had the first internet before the internet came along. Do we have an examination coming up soon? Oh, yeah. We have an examination coming up a week from Saturday, the 10th. Uh, we have them every two months on the second Saturday of the odd months at noontime mm -hmm. at the Nye County Emergency Management Building. That's off a of basin be <clears throat> behind the courthouse. They're right there on Surrey Lane. Right on Surrey Lane, right across from the Animal Rescue. There you go. And so uh, how can a person get um, uh, sign up for these examinations? Well, you don't really have to sign up. Just show up and take the exam. If you want any more information, just give me a call, 751-5242.